What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be a pretty short one. I'm currently at the bike park rebuilding some of the ramps because it actually seems that we're gonna head into spring pretty soon in the weather forecast. So we are getting the bike park ready for the season and uh, yeah, you guys are gonna get to follow along on that as well. Today's video is gonna be about three little bike hacks that I have on my bike. Uh, one of them is for tail whips and uh, supermans and like some of those tricks. First of all, the bike hacks are really useful if you're a dirt jump rider or a slope side rider uh, or a park rider or all of those. Uh, yeah, and want to do tricks. So yeah, one of the bike hacks is really good if you're looking to learn tail whips um, or uh, any other trick where you let go of the pedals in the air. And yeah, the other bike hack is actually uh, really, uh, really nice for doing bar spins because it, uh, yeah, makes it a bit easier in a way. I'm gonna explain why in a little bit. The third one is really nice to protect your fingers when you let go of the bars in the air, whether you do bar spins or tuck no handers or I don't know, you name it. As long as you let go of the hands, this one can be really useful to protect your thumbs and your, yeah, some of your fingers. Let's dive straight into bike hack number one. So the first bike hack I want to share with you today is this one. So as you can see, I have a little protection over my uh, braking handle. It's actually really simple. It's just a piece of grips that I've cut off. Uh, it's about like two and a half centimeters probably. And, uh, and then I just take off the, the handle and uh, yeah, just pull it over uh, to have it over like the, the screws that are underneath the, uh, the grip right now. Uh, and the reason for having this is because when, once you start doing like fast bar spins or tactile handers and stuff like that and you get back to your bars after doing the tr trick, it's really easy sometimes to grab a hold of your braking lever. And when you do that, there's a little bit of risk to like hit your thumb. Like if, you, if, you're, if you're a person who's doing a lot of bar spins and a, little, a lot of tricks where you let go of your hands, you probably hit your lever, braking lever once or twice. So this is really helpful for me actually, uh, to not like cut up my uh, thumb or other fingers or hand in any way on the braking lever. So really nice bike hack, super easy to fix. Takes like two minutes, just take off the, just take an extra, uh, if you have an extra pair of grips, just cut off a, like a two centimeter piece of them and pull them over the lever, just like this, and, uh, and you're good to go. I don't know if it works on every brake lever, but on the Odyssey one that I have, it works perfect. So uh, yeah, check that first if you can actually pull it over, but super nice bike hack. That's the first one. All right, so bike hack number two. For some of you, this is gonna sound really stupid, but this have done miracles for me, uh, especially when I do bar spins and tuck no handers in my case. So this is actually insanely simple, but the second bike hack that I wanna show you is this one. So it's just electrical tape. <laughs> so you just tape your grips and tape between your grip onto your bar, just like this. You can do like a good couple of laps on it because you want to create this angle. You want to create this angle right here. And the reason for having this is because when it's no tape like this, this is protected by the braking lever though, it can, it can fold up like this. And when you do a lot of bar spins, uh, especially off of bar spins in my case, when you catch the hand further in on the bar than the grip goes, it's easy to like adjust your hand like that and pull up the bars or uh, pull up the grips. And it can re be really disturbing and like mess up the tricks for you uh, once you do bar spins. So this is like really effective, at least for me. And uh, I've seen a lot of other riders that does a lot of bar spins uh, have this as well. So bike, up, not, bike hack number two, put some electrical tape between your grip and your bars and it's gonna work really nice for bar spins. Cause you just pretty much slide over this so you can never like fold up the bar in any way. Super effective. So that's the bike hack number numero dos, number two. Let's dive straight into the third one. All right, so the third and final bike hack I wanna share with you today is really, really effective and really, really good for you guys who are looking to learn uh, tail whips or who are doing a lot of tail whips like myself. Actually, just not for tail whips. I would say like for any trick uh, that 
involves letting go of the pedals in the air because this is a bike hack that makes your cranks stay still even when you let go of the pedals and it's called a crank stopper and I've seen re like a lot of different variations of this. I know that some people have like something in their frame where they can like tighten up the crank so they don't spin when you let go of them in the air. But I have like a really, um, it's like a really easy thing that you can do and this is how it looks like. So this, I just put, this is like a plumber's sealing or tightening that you put onto a pipe <laughs> pretty much. So a pipe is supposed to go here and um, so it's like like a bathroom pipe that goes from your sink or from your bath uh, bathtub. They need like a seal or a tightening. It's one of those that I just cut off and then take away the pedal, pull it over the crank and make it stay. We all have like some different length here but this is probably like one and uh, one and a half centimeters, the seal. So it goes from the crank, it needs to touch the crank and touch the frame to make the cranks not spin when I go off them. Because if the cranks spin when you start doing tail whips, it's really, really annoying. <laughs> because you can't, it's really hard to land a tail whip when you don't know where you have the cranks. So yeah, this is super effective. And to make it like really tight, I also put electrical tape around here. And I've been riding with this same seal on here for like like a year, I think. And like the effect of it has, hasn't gone down at all. So it's like, it works the same as it did a year ago. And also it is the last bike hack of the day. That is it for today's video. I'm looking, I'm, I'm gonna do a how-to video because it's been really long time since I did a how-to video on either one or a couple of tricks. So please leave me a couple of suggestions on tricks that you want a how-to on down below and I'm gonna try to make them happen in next week. Yeah, with that said, thank you for tuning in. Hope you found some value out of this, uh, these couple of bike hacks that I shared with you today. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.